Hello, welcome to Indie Tutorials. My name is Guillermo and I would like to thank the veterans supporting this channel. Okay, so for this episode I have already imported some clip animations. So we have the walk forward, the strafe, left, strafe, right, strafe, backwards, and of course uh, doing the same uh, in the jog kind of animation or speed and for implementing this strafe state we are going to use Animancer's mixers which are the equivalent to Mechanim blend trees and for this type of directional animations that we have here on movements we are also going to use from the mixers uh, the mixer uh, or the directional mixer state which uh, requires a vector 2 and the equivalent to Mechanim will be the 2D freeform uh, directional blend tree in this case so the main advantage of using the mixers from Animancer is that uh, you have more control of uh, the, the animation itself, the states of the animation. Uh, they can be created dynamically at runtime and uh, modified at runtime as well, because I think that you cannot do with uh, blind trees. Among other other features that I will I will post uh, or, or, or add in the de description of the video a link to the uh, documentation about mixers for you to read okay so uh, after that being said what we also need to start doing is uh, to change how we rotate when locked in so in the character movement script we need to add logic to improve or to change how we rotate against the the target that we are facing so let's go into our scripts characters character movement script let's open up in visual studio and let's start from here okay so we scroll down on the previous video in the update method we already added this uh, logic if we are locked on target we need to handle the target lock rotation and in this case we are using the target uh, or the enemy we are locked in as a reference for our um, rotation okay so just wanted to refresh this let me just clean up a little bit here's extra spaces okay so the next step is to start making our strafe locomotion state for any monster so let's uh, go back to unity and in the states folder let's create a new script and let's call it strafe locomotion state or whatever name you prefer to call this one let you need to compile and let's open up the script let's add animancer namespace and we need to derive from our character state okay so let me increase the font a little bit and what we need here is a serialized field let's call this one private mixer transition 2d There we go, and let's call this one um, a slow movement, or let's strafe walk movement, make more sense. And we are going to add another one, serialized field, private mixer. transition to the off and let's call this one strafe jog movement so we know beforehand uh, to which animation clips they are referring to right 
then we need to hold a variable to switch between these two type of movements so let's create another serialized field this is going to be a private float movement level and we can limit this uh, variable using the range attribute so 0 and 1 there we go without uh, doing anything else let's go back to unity and take a look so let's uh, the script compile let's uh, select our player prefab click on a state uh, game object and then drag the strafe locomotion state so let me make some room here for space so we have our strafe walk uh, movement and a strafe jog movement if I expand those uh, we can see that by default the type of this mixer is Cartesian so we need to switch this to directional also for the other one directional and is expecting a default parameter because it's a vector 2 x and y this is going to be uh, set by our movement uh, direction that we already have so what we need to do now is to add the animation clips that we imported before okay so let's scroll up here and in our straight folder where we have our clips let me collapse for a bit the jog movement and in the strafe walk movement I will add five slots one two three four and five and I need in the first one to be the idle animation so we have in the character folder we have our idle clip so I will drag that one I will leave X and Y to zero that makes sense but important we have here this sync uh, parameter or property from the mixer we don't want uh, idle animation to sync uh, between the other animation and the sync process is just to make sure that uh, the other animations are blend at the same speed so we don't end up like having uh, the walk and the jog um, animations collapse uh, one starting with the right foot and the other with the left foot so that's the meaning of having this uh, animation to be synced but for the idle we need to uncheck that one okay so let's uh, add the next animations so the next one will be the forward strafe walk and we need to set the y-axis to one next we need the right in this case the x-axis will be one then we need the backwards animation in this case the y-axis will be minus one and lastly we need the left and in this case the x axis is going to be minus one okay save the prefab now we can collapse the walk movement and set the jog one in this case because we are already in movement i'm not going to add an idle animation in this one so let's add four animations or four slots two three and four and let's select the first one the forward and change the y to one the next one is going to be jog right let's switch the x to one then the jog backwards y minus minus one and jog left x minus one so 
we already have the directional we need now to set our character so this is in the player game object so let's drag this one and we have now our character uh, reference here and lastly of course we have our multi-state so let's add a new slot here on a new row and let's drag our strafe locomotion so after doing that the next step of course is to determine whether we want or we can enter the locomotion the not the, the standard locomotion state or the strafe and that is uh, governed by the uh, lock on flag that we have here lock on target okay so let's implement that one let's go back to the scene and uh, scroll down where we have the scripts and uh, in the locomotion state double click that one scroll down and we can now here override the can enter state so in this case we need to check if the character character movement component lock on target is false so we add here a admiration mark or we can do equals false the same thing So this is for the locomotion. It cannot enter if we are locked on. And in, for the strafe locomotion state, let's override the can enter state. And in this case, we set the opposite. So character, character movement component, lock on target is true, all right? Without moving forward, if now let's uh, script compile and if we hit play, let the player respawn and let's uh, check the game object in the hierarchy. So if we were to get into the states game object where we have the state we need we have the strafe go back to the player movement and uh, we have our character animator component showing us that is playing the idle animation a new feature of uh, animator 7.3 is that now the states uh, can be Serialize, serializable so we can actually see the current state in the spectre that we are going to we are going to implement that new feature in a in a short in a bit but uh, what I want what we want to see here is uh, right now we are in the locomotion state right so if I click tap now we are in the um, in the strafe locomotion state and we cannot move but of course, since we are not passing uh, the direction yet, that's the reason we are not moving in the new state. So let's uh, implement that one now. <laughs> 